Hi YouTube, welcome to Continuous A. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so that you get notified of time I upload a video, guys. So today I'm going to be doing a uh, FAC 1503, the sixth assignment. And yeah, guys, without actually wasting time, let's quickly go through the questions as well as the answers. And hopefully you are able to get like 80% for this assignment i know a lot of people are saying it is tricky it is hard but it actually is easy so without wasting time let's quickly go throughout the questions so the first the first question says an, an instructed attorney collected a once-off amount of thirty thousand. what uh, amount of collection commission is instructed attorney entitled to so obviously we know that attorneys they are entitled to 10 percent of the commission so the correct answer is the second one which is three thousand so you're gonna have to divide you're gonna have to say three thirty thousand multiplied by ten percent which is gonna give you three thousand so the following question says that uh the ledger entry for the above resulted from so you're gonna have to take a look um for me i said a because the purchasing law books on credit because like, as you can see uh, the, the amount is situated on the credit side so the following question uh the legal firm sc attorneys is registered as a vat vendor the vat is charged at 15 percent on the 26th of march 2022 the owner um advocate and south africa withdrew uh let me do this the owner uh, uh withdrew an amount of three thousand 440 for his own use so this is going to have to be recorded under drawings so the above transaction will be entered in the slash as a book of its first entry so for me i said business cash receipts because obviously he this is a business and he's withdrawing money as drawings so that's the correct answer for me guys the next the following question says that which of the following statements relating to different categories of value added tax that is incorrect so you have to look for the incorrect one for me i selected the first one which says that a client of a legal practice can claim input that on payments made by the legal practice out of their trust money on behalf of the client system since these are services rendered by the legal practice but to the client so this is totally incorrect because we all know that the client is the one who has access to basically the trust fund the trust money so for me that was the incorrect one so in the following question which of the following statements is incorrect so you have to select the one that's incorrect again for me i selected uh, option c which states that every legal practitioner referred to in this in section 84 subsection 1 of the legal practice act or uh, 28 of 2014 may choose to operate a trust account or not so for me that's totally out of the window guys incorrect <laughs> question seven uh uh, the following transactions relate to the accounting records of SA's legal practice for March 2022. The legal practice is registered as a VAT vendor. VAT at 15% is included where applicable. Uh, on 8th March, SA's legal practice returned a new copy, a copier which was purchased on the 1st of March 2022 on credit from SA Supplies registered VAT vendor for 6200 The copier uh, was defective, so it wasn't working properly. SA's legal practice did not replace the copier. Uh, what will what will the general what will the general journal entry be for the above transaction in which records of SA's legal practice? So for me guys I chose like you know option b uh which says that office equipment fed fed control da, 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 da. so it is definitely option b for me guys so moving on question eight is traders who is not 
which is that as a vet vendor purchased a office uh, inventory with 18,000 on credit from SA stationaries. I assume that SA traders use a periodic inventory system, which option reflects the above transaction on the basic on the basic accounting equation of SA's traders. So here guys, you have to choose option A because you have to balance the assets and the equity. So a lot of people get confused, but this is actually easy. You're gonna have to say 18,000 minus 18,000 on assets and equity. So for me, it's an easy one, this one. The following question, question nine, what must the vet amount be what was the what must the vet amount be that must be added to vet exclusive amount of 510 of 500 if the current vet rate is uh 15% so you're going to have to going to have to say 500 multiplied by let's see 15% is going to give you 75 rand so that one was easy also following question is a south africa's attorneys registered vendor sent the following uh, account statement to the in instruction attorneys african attorneys registered vet, but da, 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 da. so yeah you're gonna have to look at the table you're gonna have to look at the bookkeeping and Basically, the question is, which of the following statements is correct regarding the recording of the transaction in which business cash receipts journal of South Africa's attorneys? So you're going to have to look for the incorrect ones. So let's quickly take a look and I'll definitely show you which one is incorrect. So guys, uh, question 10 says that South African attorneys registered that vendor sent the following account statements to the instructing attorneys, African attorneys registered that vendor. So for me, I ask uh, the correct answer for this. You have to look at the table, obviously, and have to look at the bookkeeping. And uh, for me, I selected they say they the question says that which of the following statements is correct regarding the recording of transaction in the business cash receipts journal of south africa attorneys of south Af south attorneys i meant to say so the transaction is recorded incorrectly because there is there should have been uh, recorded in the business cash payments uh, journal so <clears throat> question 11 uh Basically, you have to read and yeah, it says that legal practice is registered as a vet vendor at 15%, obviously 10 March, um, in Mr. Africa decided to invest 90,000 and business funds into 4.5% 12 months business fixed deposit, da 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 so you basically have to do your math and it has to be equal to it has to amount to, the, to these balances over here because if you check properly if you go uh, 90,000 um, 4.5 percent so if you go to your calculator if you say 90,000 multiplied by 4.5 percent is 4,000 and fifty, right which is the amount that i've selected over here four thousand and fifty they they have to balance each other guys so that's how i came to the conclusion to that conclusion for 12 months right so yeah this for me is the correct answer so moving forward which of the following is not a common user of a uh, financial statement so question 12 which of the following is not a common use of financial statements as i've chosen b which is partnership so moving on to the next question uh which one of the following statements is incorrect so you have to choose the one that's not correct for me i've selected uh option a which says that the trust creditors control account is recorded in the 
general ledger so it is not recorded in in the general ledger so obviously it's incorrect so moving forward uh, the following information was obtained from the account records of EC attorneys da -da 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 -da. so basically hundred thousand to mr. Africa da -da 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 -da. which of the following statements is incorrect for the above type of investment so for me I've selected B which says that the investment should be made with banks which is the legal practitioners fidelity fund uh, has entered into an agreement so b is the correct one so next question which transaction increases and decreases assets accounts so you have to look for one asset option a which says that a debit card payment to the municipality uh, to municipality a deposit for rent so that that one made sense next question uh on 25th of february 2022 sc tennis with 500 cash to replenish replenish the petty cash into the office uh the cash withdrawal will be recorded in the slash as a book first entry so for me the correct answer is c general general journal so the general journal is the correct answer next question next question says SA traders made a cash donation of four thousand to uh primary school as a as a trader is not registered fat vendor which of the following options listed represents the correct analysis and of the above transaction in the accounting records of ec traders so for me i've selected option c uh because it's the one that made sense so you may feel free to look at the table next question so basically the financial year of sa attorneys ends on 30th of june every year sa attorneys pays monthly insurance of 3.1 for its business the account records of the practice show, uh, shown as the insurance was paid for nine months during the financial year ended 30 june 2021 so calculate the accrued expense amount that would appear on the trial balance uh, of the in entity on the 30th june 2021 so they paid for <coughs> so they basically paid 3.1 <coughs> 3100 for nine months so you're gonna 3.1 multiply by nine is gonna it's gonna give you an answer of 20, 27,900. so next question uh let's see okay the the bank uh, reconciliation statements as the 30th of january then two showed a credit balance per bank statements to the amount of three thousand zero three thousand and seventy one and the debit balance per bank account of the amount of three thousand nine hundred and thirty one uh so the bank statement show the variable balance of amount of three thousand nine hundred and one rent on twenty eight February. Da 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 da. Bank bank balance per bank statements in a bank re reconciliation. Da 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 da. So the correct answer is option A, a credit balance of four thousand nine hundred and thirty one. Next question. Which of the following is neither a an, ad, an advantage nor a disadvantage of reducing balance method of depreciation? So the correct one is option D. Next question. The general entry when a customer transfers funds into a bank, transfers funds into a trust bank account is as follows so for me correct answer is b it says that the credit uh the trust bank account and debit uh the client's account so the yeah next question guys which of the following statements is correct so two sets of accounting records must be kept by the legal practice to allow for a smooth process of funds for a smooth process of transfer of funds between the trust 
bank account and trust and the bank account and the business bank account so basically option a is the one you should go for